Welcome back, Cyber Traders. Uh, my name is Fausto Puglisi, and I am here to talk about how to use Thinkorswim with Bookmap, something we call Level 4. Now, if you're watching this video, we had a couple of more that we've done. So please like us, friend us, look for those videos. I think you're going to be very, uh, very impressed because I've been doing this for over 25 years. I started Cyber University this, uh, over the years. I've trained hundreds of thousands of people on trading my style, which is following the money. And one thing I'm extremely excited about is that now Thinkorswim now has level four quotes. Now you probably heard of level one. I know you probably heard of level two. And some of you are like, wait, there's level three. Well, imagine there's a level four. Now, just to let you know, um, if you watch some of my previous videos, I go into detail, what exactly is level four? What are the institutions? What are the ECNs? what exactly they do, how they algorithm, all that. So you definitely want to watch those other videos. But I really want to focus on this video of the features of, of how this system is so powerful and how you're going to use it in everyday trading. Now, what we're looking at a stock right now, we're looking at Apple. Now, what you're seeing is a more of a heat map. In this heat map, you are seeing the future, not the past. And right here, we're seeing a bunch of red lines which you can see right here. And I'm just going to draw them right here, all these red lines. And these red lines are orders that are out there. And if you look down here at the bottom at 930 this morning, you could see that once the market opened up, and you, by the way, you also have pre-market trading, these orders were out there um, ready to be sold and ready to be bought. Now, remember something. I know a lot of you here, you look to trade stocks on support and resistance levels. Well, guess what? You cannot have support and resistance unless you have those buyers and sellers to back it up. See, the future is not, oh, the past is not always indicative of the future. So you have to look for those orders. So what we're seeing right here on this red line, you know, right around $176, that there is a 47,000 share seller out there. Let me repeat that and get that sink in your head a 47,000 share seller. And then behind, right below him at 7580, there's another 32,000 share seller. You're literally talking almost 80,000 shares of $176 stock. That's not chump change for you and I. So what do we think? That is resistance levels. But most people would think in their mind, okay, well, why did the stock stop at 173? OK, well, there were other orders out there and there was a person here earlier that showed up right around 1015 and you could see how the stock went up, hit a resistance levels here because there was an order out there. What this means is blank spots means the guy canceled his order. He lowered his order and you could see the stock Apple is having a major difficult time passing 17530. Now, it's not a lot of shares. You could see there's about 3,000 and 16,000 shares, almost 17,000. And by knowing that guy was there, explains why the stock went down. Now you'll notice here in the bottom that there is no heat, okay? That means there was no orders out there. I mean, there's orders at every price level, but there was only about 1,000. Who do you think is gonna control the stock more? The seller at 16,000 or a buyer at 1,000? Who do you think is going to win the game? What's going to make a support and resistance? And that explains why the stock went lower. Okay. Now, if you notice down here, there was a big buyer right here at 174. Okay. And as the the uh, the heat map got redder, means there were more shares. As it got lighter. Other people took away their orders. And then obviously we got close right around here. And now notice what's happening. There are no sellers and we are hovering right here at a big, um, at a big support level, which is a big buyer right around 143. Now, let me just zoom in over here so you guys can see a little bit more. Let me just clear this out, make it nice and clean for you. And what's nice about this feature is that you could just roll your mouse and you could zoom in, you can click over here, you could zoom out and you could see the orders in great detail. Look at that. Now we, now we, we could notice that there was a 19,000 share sell at 175, okay? So you could see that the stock obviously is testing the lows. And 
the buyer out there that was really looking to buy it did get executed. How do we know that? Look at the bottom. Look at the, look at the bar chart on the bottom. And that red bull, and the bigger the bull, that means the more volume was traded. So the guy got executed. So what do we do? Do we sell whatever? Well, guess what? The big thing you have to learn to be a good trader is not how to make money. It's how to stop losing it. And stop losing is knowing, okay, well, when do I take my loss? When do I get out? Well, look at, look at the heat map. You look at the writing on the wall. OK, you got to know where these orders are now before we go and go to the next videos that we have on this feature. I want to talk about one other thing. Let's say the stock is it's hovering right here, 174, 174. And you're like, I, should I sell it? I saw a big buyer get done. Well, being a good trader is having a game plan. And the only way to have a good game plan is we need to know where are other orders out there. So I'm gonna zoom out, I'm gonna zoom down, 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 down. And all of a sudden, you'll see as I'm shrinking this, we are seeing at, that there has been an order out here at 143. And there is a 36, 30, was it 33,000 shares? 33, 33,000 share seller out there, okay? So, as I zoom out, the next buyer is at 172. If I scroll down, guess what? There is a 123,000 share buyer at 170. So what does this really tell me? Well, guess what? This one I'm showing you people think, well, is this day trading? Yes, it is. But can you use it towards swing trading? Absolutely. Because looking at it and, and scaling back, now you could say, well, I'm not looking to bounce in and out of it. But guess what? If you really want to have a game plan, you got a big seller of 128,000 shares at 175, and you got a big 122,000 share buyer at 170. And just remember, no indicator is going to tell you that. So if you want to be a good trader, you got to know how to read the future. And the future is on your Thinkorswim platform, you got to get the good big uh, the book map, you have to attend some more event, our events, and we'll show you live in the market how this actually happens every day. Because the better and smarter you could trade, the less, the less losses you're going to get and the more profits that you're going to make. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to us, and we'll see you in another upcoming video on the Thinkorswim platform on trading something called Level 4.